Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching Furutech. So, yesterday we created a video regarding how to flash the Nothing OS 1.5 Open Beta 1. You can check that video from the iCar. Remember, this Open Beta is only available for the previous beta testers and it is gradually rolling out for the other users. So, if you want to test it, then flash it as shown in the video. So, today in this video, we will thoroughly check what new changes we get in the about phone, its performance, and the CPU throttling comparison with the old build of Nothing OS 1.1.7, all the new features, battery life, and the bugs with my final verdict. So, watch the video till the end. Now, without further ado, let's get started. After flashing this new update, I first checked the upboard phone to confirm what are the changes has been made by the nothing. Here you can see this is the new nothing OS 1.5 with the build number space for T1.5. If you check the Android version section, this is the new Android 13 with the new material based clock easter egg. Security patch is upgraded to the latest December 2022. Kernel version is 5.4.197 while on the old build has the kernel version 5.4.147. So most of the things are updated to the latest sources in this new open beta 1. Now it's time to compare the performance of the new open beta with the stable nothing OS 1.1.7. As per nothing, they improved the app's opening speed by 50% as compared to the old build and actually it's filling everywhere in the new open beta. Apps opening, closing, switching between the applications, scrolling, all the things are absolutely stunning. And the difference is visible. Around the Geekbench stage, here you got the score of 813 and 2925 for the single core and multi core respectively. In the last OTA, we got the score of 707 and 2683. So, huge difference is there between the both the builds. So, current NOS 1.5 seems more superior in every segment as compared to the old NOS 1.1.7. Next, I did the GP performance test for the Vulcan Graphics API, and here I got the score of 2287. While on the old build it was 2284, so there is no difference between the GPU performance, but the multi core and single core CPU performance is very good. Now we will do the CPU throttling and we will compare this with the old build. I ran the CPU throttling on the 20 test for the 5 minutes, while test after 3 and a half minutes, yellow line started to appear in the graph. Overall, CPU throttling was about 78%. Same thing was happened in the old version of Nothing OS 1.1.7. There you got the 74% of CPU throttling for the first attempt, but in the second attempt, results was improved up to the 94%. So I decided to run the test one more time to confirm the results and I got the score of 84%, which is still not very good score, but it's okay. CPU throttling will not affect day-to-day -day uses of your phone unless you use the CPU intensity task. Now let's start the review of all the new changes and the features. New Nothing OS is based on the new Android 13, so more material you themed user interface will be found everywhere in the system. More accurate ascent colors will be get applied after changing wallpapers. Instead, we can apply other ascent colors from the bunch of the options available. Now we get the themed app drawer and the drawer icon similar to the custom ROMs. In the customization, there is a tab icon packs. Here we get the themed icon option. We have to enable that once done app drawer and the dock icons will get new colors as per the wallpaper based from one colors. Nothing has added the new weather application you can find it under the app drawer. This is beautiful material you themed application with the nothing was dot fonts which looks amazing. At the top we will get the location then we get the weather condition icon with its status. Below it we get the current temperature at the location. There are 5 days weather prediction is also given below it. This application also shows us the view index, humidity percentage, wind speed and the sunrise timing at the current location. These details are powered by the AccuWeather data, so accuracy is quite good. This is one of the best weather application available till the date as compared to the any weather application provided by any OEM. Nothing OS 1.5 comes with the new expanded volume panel. In the quick setting panel, we can check now the Wi-Fi hotspot shortcut is separately added instead of combining it with the big round ties at the top of the quick setting panel. We can toggle on or off the shortcut by just tapping on the icons. Round big tile settings can be expanded by tapping on the empty space of the tile. If you are using the nothing gear one buds, then you get the expanded toggle when you tap on the Bluetooth tile of the quick setting panel. 
but as I am using the normal Oppo Echo M31, I didn't got this option here. Under setting system and under the language input setting, you get the app language option. By using this, you can set any language to different applications separately without restriction of system language. Here I added the Hindi language for the YouTube application where system and other applications are running on the English language as a preferences. In the quick setting panel, you get the QR scanner tile. Who can add the style and anytime quickly scan any codes using this style shortcut. Another one is the Android 13 based specific feature that is expanded clipboard. Here our copied text immediately appears in the expanded clipboard above the keyboard. From here we can copy or change the clipboard text and can paste it anywhere. New media control is available in the new Android 13 based on nothing OS. Here we get the forward and backward arrow keys with the new animations. There is a switch button available to switch audio on the go between the speakers and the Bluetooth output. In the accessibility setting, we get the new live caption. Here we need to first download the language data. Once enable this toggle, when you play any audio or the video playback, we get this caption on the screen. We can enable or disable this caption by using the shortcut toggle available at the bottom of the volume panel. Instead of this, some other visible changes that we found are the new active application at the bottom of the quick setting panel. We can stop any running active background application using this option. Settings and the power menu shortcuts now placed at the bottom of the QS panel nearby the active application option. Except this, no major changes I found in the new Nothing OS 1.5. Battery life needs to be tested at least for the 2-3 to three days before giving my final conclusion. I didn't found any bugs, but occasionally sometimes volume panel not pop up immediately even after pressing the volume buttons, it takes time. Except this, no other issues I found, so definitely I recommend you to try this open beta, it's a daily drivable build, definitely. So that's it for today guys, if you think I helped you through this video, then please do like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.